Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, DJ here. Okay, in today's video, very late video, sorry, we are gonna be doing a declutter video. So I have so much makeup here and on this desk, everywhere. So today we're gonna be going through everything, which I've already kind of gone through. It's all sitting on the bed right here. I've gone through everything that I don't need, stuff that I have a lot of that I don't need anymore, extras, just stuff I'm gonna do rid of. And guess what I'm going to do with it? It's going to be sent to somebody in this box. Giveaway! Yes! So if you want to win all of these items that I'm showing you in this video, you have to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and the ring bell on so you know when I get uploaded. Like the video and leave a comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite item in this giveaway. What's your favorite um, makeup item in general? Tell me something. It can be accumulated that's not the right word. It can be... I'm having a blonde moment right now. It, ha it can be a relation to this video or something makeup related. How about that? Makeup related or something to this video and with that comment. So, as we go ahead, this is a small little box. I got this little postal box at Goodwill for a dollar. So, this is what everything will be sent in. If you know how to package stuff like makeup, like little things that I'm about to show you, if you know how to package it right in the box so that nothing goes everywhere and so that's safe, let me know that too. That can be in your comment as well. Also, if you're curious about the eye look today, I just honestly, I just kind of rushed it. I did use the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette from her vault. I did use this palette for today's look. The glitter. Wait till you get to the glitter because that has to do with the giveaway. Let's take a deep breath and get started. All right, so I'm gonna be looking over here a lot grabbing items So if I look crazy like oh, what's he doing this for everything is right here So I say let's start with brushes. I have some brushes to get away So I have a brush set by this brand called BS Mall. It's from Amazon I got this $10 brush set. They look like this with a gold top to the black handle That's the brand name BS Mall if you can see that they make this set. They also make this set that's pink, actually. I use this little um, crease-cutting brush from them. This is from the same set. But these are ones that I've never used before. These were have never been touched. I've never used these. We have, like, a flat little rectangular brush. Can you see that? It's, like, it's very flat and dense. I'm sure you can use this to maybe... You can actually pack on shadow on your... On the lower part of your lid, maybe if you want to make liner with shadow, that would be good for that. And then we have a double-ended brush. This is like a very small crease-cutting brush. You can pack shadows on with this. And then the other end has like a little skinny tip for, I'm guessing, like eyeliner stuff. That's a dual-ended one. Um, this is another very small little pack brush. Um, I would use this for like lip. Like if you have a lip palette or if you wanted to shape your lips with a lipstick, if you want to line them better, um, you can use that. Another one, this is literally, I think, I think it's the same brush I just showed you. It's just a lot smaller like that. And then this one is a little dense, round, oval looking brush. They're just random ones. They just included a lot of brushes in the set. So that's in that set. That's that. And then I have two e.l.f. brushes from a holiday set that I got last holiday on discount at Walmart. So here's a blush brush. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. I've never used it before, never touched. So you can use that for blush. You can probably powder under the eye with this too. It's small enough. We also got the e.l.f. small stipple brush. I'm sure you can use this for like concealer under the eye. Maybe foundation if you have a smaller head. I don't have a smaller head. I gotta use this big. Look at that. Compared to that, yeah, that's a difference. I also keep looking right here, like, on myself, but I'm looking at you. But those are those two brushes. So those are the brushes part of the set. Let's stay in that realm. I have these two little detailing sponges. This is a small tart sponge I got when I bought my shape tape. This came in a bundle. It came with the sponge and the concealer in one. So I have never used this before. It might have a little remnants of glitter on it. Um, there's always glitter and stuff in this makeup area, but never been used. This is a little sponge from the Morphe X Jeffree Star collaboration. They had the sponge set with the big pink one and then the two small blenders. I only have one that I use a little bit sometimes. This one's never been touched, so I'm going to include this with the giveaway with that little sponge. So you can really get in like under the eye really nicely. For this pointed part, you can really get in the middle right there. So those are those two. 
And here we go. Let's do this eyeshadow palette. I actually have two eyeshadow palettes that are going to be in this giveaway. One, the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. Now, I know some of you know me, and you know what's my favorite color? Green. So why is he giving this away? Why would DJ give a green palette away? I'll tell you. I have so many palettes that have green in them that I use so much of. I did this palette, I used this palette like one day maybe, so it's only been swatched, I've only used it once, and I don't have a reason to keep it. Like, yes, this is a great color palette, oh yeah. This is amazing, ColourPop shadows are bomb. Like these definitely blended amazing. I did use this one more for one look I was just playing in my room one day, but I don't use this palette, at least the one time that I used it. So. I don't see the need. The mirror is very nice. So I just don't feel the need to have it. At first, when I saw it being announced, I was like, a green palette. Yes. But it's cute. It's just I don't use it enough. So giveaway. And then we also have this. Okay, so this I did swatch twice. I never actually put it on my eyes. This is the Sugar Pill X Little Twin Stars eyeshadow palette. This came with a little bag right here this little bag i do use this bag all the time whenever i'm out with the makeup on go on the floor it came with this and it also came with the two liquid lipsticks in those colors so let me show you the liquid lipsticks this is the shade kiki and this is the shade lala i have never used these before i got these at drag con there was a sale uh, I guess they were trying to get rid of the stock of it. But these are the two liquid lipsticks. I've never used them before, so I don't really know how sugar pill lips feel in the mouth. I've seen a lot of people buy them. It seems like they're popular. So I'm going to put those two. It's like a bright pink and a light teal. Imagine that teal with it. Oh, yeah. But um, we're just going to put these in the giveaway. Not used. And then this is the palette that I bought. I was like, oh, it's really cute. I forgot. It was like a really low price. I don't remember how much I paid. But this is what the palette looks like when you open it. It has only one matte, which is this teal. It's called Star Ribbon. These are the two shades that I swatched. As you can tell, I just swatched. That's it. So I did ask on Twitter, how do you guys feel about like partially used makeup? Like this is not like, it's gross. You're going to get a disease. I don't have the money to be buying brand new stuff to give away. I just have a lot of stuff that I've accumulated over the past year that I just need to get rid of that I don't need anymore. Like, I need to still go through this again. But um, I've literally only swatched it twice. It's still perfectly safe to use. So please don't drag me. But um, yeah, this is a very great palette. I, I mean, I swatched it. It definitely had pigment. I've never heard any negative criticism about Sugar Pill. So this is that palette right there. So giveaway. What is it on your lid, honey? I felt something cracky. I don't know what that was. But um, this lip uh, combo is actually very nice. Before we continue, let me let you guys know. I have it right here. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lip Shade Can't Relate combined with the L'Oreal Infallible 8-Hour Pro Gloss. I really like this gloss. Oh, my God. 8-Hour Pro Gloss is correct. It actually stays on your lips pretty good. Like, look at pretty shine. I love it. I just want to show you that. Speaking of lips, how about we go into lips? I have a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, someone's going to get a lot of lipsticks. So let's start with L'Oreal, actually. So L'Oreal, um, I believe it was sometime last year, they, um, they brought their infallible pro matte liquid lipstick and created a little mini, little set of them called the Le Chocolat collection. Now these stay on your lips all day because I have another shade in there that I've worn before that it stays on your lips some people may complain that it feels drying or feels like like a brick it didn't feel that bad to me but i did tell that it was on my lips but it didn't move it stayed but um this is the late chocolate ones these smell so <sighs> i need an excuse to take a deep breath <coughs> excuse me this lipstick let me tell you smells so effing good chocolate orgasms let me tell you smells so good these are the shades dose of cocoa and candy man these are not been used never worn all these lipsticks that i'm putting in here never used all new i have not touched them um the way i've gotten them from the store and from a friend of mine who i'm done with them never used so infallible pro matte liquid lipstick those are those two from the late chocolate then I have a three. This was from this year. I saw Tati review these. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the Le Macaron collection. These smell very sweet and cute. So these have never been used. These are the shades 
Mon Caramel, Dos of Rose, and Praline de Paris. And those are, they're very, they're like nudes. You got a dark nude, you got a light pink, and you got like a mauve rosy kind of nude. Those three, those are fresh. We also got two Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I think these ones and that one I just showed you do have a very similar kind of feel. I tell you, if you don't want your lipstick to move all day, wear this stays on the lip it is a little hard to take off at the end of the day but i tell you if you exfoliate your lips and have like on a lip oil while you're getting your face ready it'll be good because then when you wipe the lip oil off or lip scrub and then when you put this on it'll make your lips feel a lot better than what you have to deal with which is a brick but um these are the shades ruler and lover let me not sing the song i don't want to get um copyrighted <laughs> love you taylor we also got some four more um, lipsticks from Maybelline. These are sticks. These are the Maybelline Color, Sen Color, Sational, Color Sensational Lipsticks. So I have the shade Mauve for me. We got the shade Ruby for me. I'm not really into reds, but imagine that with that. Okay. Then we got Plum for me. And then this is Spice for me. What's this for me? I ain't talking about you. We're talking about me, not you. What you talking about, honey? Look at me being sassy. So these four also never used. Never used. I got these at the store when they were on um, clearance. They have never been touched. Never touched. I'm surprised. Like, I don't even use, like, sticks that much. Like, looks so, like, I don't really use, I don't know. It's just, like, it's, like, hard to, like, for me, even when they're fresh, it's hard to, like, draw on. Just so used to liquid lipsticks with the wand. Um, I also got three stick lipsticks from Revlon. These are very similar um, consistency and texture to those Maybellines. This is Blushing Mauve, Sassy Mauve, and Soft Silver Rose. So, um, I don't know if you can see the colors in there. They're very, they're like nudie pinks. So, like, see, there's those. And then there's that. Very subtle. This is a little brighter. They're cute. And then, also, for anyone who loves Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Surprise, I have a Jeffree Star Cosmetic lipstick that has never been touched. Yes, it's because it's a bullet. Not really into bullet lipsticks. We just said that. This is the shade Starfruit. It's very bright pink, like bright pink. I tell you, yeah. This has never been touched before. Promise, I promise. I bought them like this. Well, actually, this one came in the mystery box like this. I just never swatched it or touched it. I just rolled it up, and that's it. Yeah, nothing special. I have a star fruit um, still in there. This was just the second one. Let's go into highlighters, actually. Now, this one, if you don't feel comfortable with me giving this away, this has been used a couple times. I've, like, swatched it a lot, but I haven't really put it on the face much. It has a little bit on the sides. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Royal Calyx. It's very iridescent purple. I just um, played around with this a lot, just like swatching and stuff, but I haven't used it enough. I didn't really use it much on the face. I used it more the couple times that I did use it. I used it on the eyes, but I don't use it that much anymore. I prefer some of the eyeshadows I have that are this color, but only a couple times used. It's cute, but we're just going to throw that in the giveaway too. Back into highlighter. Okay, so some of my friends will be like, whoa, you're getting rid of that? All right, this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost in the shade Frostbite. Now, the one time I'd used this, I um, dabbed a little bit on my nose, and it actually drew a uh, uh, hell something on my lip. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is, but I think it's gone. That was the first here on this channel, getting something off of my damn lip. Let's have a wipe right there just to clean yourself off. But anyways, the liquid frost, the liquid highlighter, I would tap some on my nose. It actually started peeling off my foundation. I was like, no! But don't fault the product right away. Maybe I use too much, but I don't really... I've seen people put this on their face, and it works. It's probably just me. Maybe it just didn't work for me. But this is nice on the body. So, I mean, I just used it once or twice. It looks cute on the desk, but I don't use it. There's still a whole lot of product in here. So there's no point in me having this. I can always get another shade in the future, but like used once or twice, it's still good. I've seen people selling like partially used makeup. I don't need to sell it. I'll just give it to one of you guys. It's no problem. But um, safe, clean, cute. It is blinding. It's very pretty. It's very glittery. 
So before this like hot weather ends, if you if one of you can put this all over your body and lay out in the sun, honey, let me see. Let me rephrase that. I don't want to see like ass cheeks, but I mean, you know what, honey? If you got booty, let me see your booty in this color. Let's see it. Let's see it, honey. Let's see it. So that goes for that. <clears throat> Sort of makeup related, not really. I have three nail products. I have two nail polishes from the brand Sinful Color Professionals. This is White Lies. It's literally a white nail polish. This is the black one. It's called Blacklist. And then this is the matte top coat. So these are both like matte nail polishes. This is the way you'll put on top of it. I did have my nails like that, but they're like chipping off. They were nice and matte. It felt great. So these are pretty good. I just can't paint my nails well. These have never been used. These are new. Hey, maybe you'll like black and white nail polish. Go for it. Um, let's go into these two mascaras. I have two unused minis of the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I was in a, I was in a Walmart and they were doing samples of this and they just had little minis to give away. So I took a couple. I have one in my drawer right there that I use and then I took these two extra because I was like maybe I can find a friend to give them to. But or one of you guys can have it. But this mascara is very natural. I'm not wearing it right now, but like when I wore it on like a no makeup day, it looked it looks very natural. Like they were very separated and neat. It didn't really volume them really crazy. Like the one I have on right now, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This, as you can tell, brings my lashes to life. This is like very natural everyday mascara and it's great. It works. So there's that. I love this product because I have it all over my lids today. I have mine over here. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner. I have a brand new one right here that was gifted to me from a friend. I love you so much. I don't I haven't even gone through my first one and I have another one that the same friend gave me. It's like, what am I gonna do? I have so many. I wanna be able to give back too. Cause this one, oh my god, look at all of the lid. Look at all the glitter. It's so pretty. I love this. Like, I'm almost gone with this. I'm getting there. Like, I'm getting there. I'm like digging inside of it, trying to get every little bit out. And I still have that other one I haven't even made it to. And then I have that one. So like, it comes out like that. You just like, look at that. Look at that, let me show you. Look at that glitter. So pretty silver glitter. It's perfect, I tell you, but like I have so much of it. There's no need for me to have so many. I'm gonna, this has been almost over, this is definitely over a year, a year and a half, close to two years, and I still have it. I don't know if that's safe, I should be using that. Maybe I should just throw it away and get to the new one, but it still works, as you can tell. But this is the fresh one in the box. I don't need it anymore. I don't wanna waste, I don't want it to just sit here and collect dust. Why would I want that? I want someone else to really enjoy it. Like, thank you. But yeah, heavy metal glitter liner in the shade. This is Glam Rock. It's literally a pure silver. So there's that. All right, let's go into these stick items. I have two eyebrow, some two brow products from Revlon, the Color Stay Brow Pencil. I have one in soft brown and one in dark brown. I haven't used these before. I already have my go-to brow product mainly, which is Dip Brow from Anastasia. This is what I use for my eyebrows. But, uh, I know, I never used them before. So I would not know how the product works, but soft brown and deep brown, if one of these is your color, go ahead. If the other color, give it to a friend. I don't know, maybe you could, if you're soft brown and you wanna make it darker, do a little bit of that. If you're dark and you wanna maybe soften up edges, use the brown. So there's those. Next item we have is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel. Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. This is in black brown. Now, when I've seen reviews on this, this has never been used. I'm just showing you the product applicator. So when you pull it out, it's like a very fibrous, moussey looking product. What I recommend you doing is getting like a brow brush and dipping off of this and then drawing on. Do not go straight on the brows. Do not do that because it gets really thick thick and pasty and it'll dry quick but when you use like like here's a little brow brush i use my morphe brow brush so just if you dip onto it and then do it it'll work and they stay in place all day like because i have my own i have my own color of this i tried it stayed on all day i had like some trouble trying to get it off but i mean once i used a little oil i actually used my garnier marcellar water to get it off and it came off easy but i tell you this if you want your brows to stay 
use this. This is black, brown, hopefully it's your color. I hope so. This is the extra one from my friend that gave me. Don't need it. Let's get to some eye, some more eye products. This is from the Color Workshop. This is from a gift set from Holiday on Christmas at Walmart. This is an eye pencil. I kept a, color, a couple of other shades. This is just a brown shade. And the other ones work pretty well. This is like a brown shade. It's not been used before. So you can waterline. You can draw lines with it. We also have... These are all like eyeliners. Like for the waterline or for drawing a line. This is from Jane One Liners Eyeliner. This is the shade Coffee Line. So it's like a dark brown. This would be nice on like a neutral eye. <sighs> Excuse my deep breathing. Sorry. This is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in black. Straight up black. So there's a sharpener on here. I didn't even know this. I didn't know there was a sharpener. Um, I'll let you be the answer guru to that. Um, it's just a regular black eyeliner. This has never been used either. So like here, watch. So I'm gonna like that. It comes out just like that. Never used. Just a black eyeliner in the waterline. I have one of these for myself and it does work pretty good. Then we have, this is black as well. Black is black. This is from Avon, the Avon Glimmer Sticks Eyeliner. Um, they don't have too much shimmer. It looks pretty black. This is a brand new sealed one. Never used. I have one already. So I'm going to give that to you guys too. So you got four eyeliners right there. They're pretty awesome. Let's go into this single shadow that I have from Urban Decay. The Urban Decay eyeshadow. It's a single one in the shade UV very it's like a iridescent kind of purplish color um just watched it once um it was cute i just don't need to have a shade similar to that already in a palette so hey there you go let's go into um foundation now i have this was gifted to me from a friend um this is the neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup with broad spectrum also if you hear noise in the background that's just people in the house. Don't worry about it. But this is, um, it said that this is full coverage. It didn't really do much on me. I have a lot of texture in my skin, so I need something full. Like, this is my, um, MAC Studio Fix that I'm wearing. But this is, this is more for, like, if you have better skin than me, which I'm sure you do. Anyone has better skin than me. This is, um, this will give decent coverage. It'll last all day. It has SPF, so if you're in the sun a lot. This is fresh. I've never used it before. I had another shade that I tested out, and that's why it didn't work for me. But this is the shade Nude 40. Um, yeah. Never been used. Healthy skin liquid makeup. So, hey, if this is your shade, or if you know somebody, I just don't need it. It's brand new. What am I gonna do with it? So, there's that. Let's go into this product that's never been used either. Fresh. This is the L'Oreal Beach Bay Face and Body Luminizer. This is medium to deep. Now, if I did want to be bronzy, I couldn't really use this one. I mean, if I, like, did a little bit of it, it's very pigmented. Um, from what I've seen in videos, I saw Tati review it, and she liked it. It says, what is it for? Hydrate and glow. Soften. Beautify. Um, I would recommend just using this on the body. It's just the body luminizer. I guess it's the cheap version of Fenty, I guess. I mean, that's no, that is no shade, honey. No shade. Hold up. Who loves their foundation to death? Me. I didn't use it today because I am trying to use up this. There's a little bit left in this bottle, but honey, Fenty. Anyways, back to the video. But yeah, this face and body luminizer. This is medium to deep. So, hey, you can mix this with a foundation if you have a deeper skin complexion. Mix like a drop of it in your foundation if you want more glowiness. You can put it all over the body. It looks cute on the counter. <laughs> oh, well. But there's that. Let's go into powders. So I have a fresh. This has never been used because I had a buy one, get one free coupon. Thanks, DragCon. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have two of these already. This is the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. I tell you, this is powder. Oh, my God. I used... I actually... I have the same shade that I used. This is the best setting powder oh my god all over the face mainly under my eyes where i put it this is um has a funny memory um uh, my friend tiffany storm and um who owns chasers in charlotte whenever i used to go in her dressing room at scorpio's her dressing room fucking smells like cody airspun and uh, i can smell it from the outside not a lot of people like the smell of it i know tati hates it some people some of my girlfriends of mine don't like the smell of it well, honey it just reminds me of drag queens and they'll, they use this this is six bucks at walmart like girl yes work but um that's that so it's a full brand new setting powder um let's go into makeup remover 
I have the L'Oreal Clean Artiste 100% Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Suitable for sensible eyes. Haven't used it before. I'm sure it works. So I would just um, splash some of this on like a makeup wipe or on a paper towel or like a small cloth and just boom. But I'll do your eyes first because that's mainly what it's made for is eye makeup. Um, you could do it with these too actually. Here's the next product. The Alme Makeup Free Zone Eye Makeup Remover Pads. Gentle, oil free. I have my own thing of these. These work pretty good. I just grab a pad and smudge, smudge, smudge away. But yeah, those are cute. Comes with 120 pads. I think that should last you a while. I mean, I need two or three to get rid of this. But um, those are the makeup removers. Do we have anything else? We do. The Dove Face Care Cleansing Pillows. I got this as a sample somewhere. I don't remember where, but um, the once you rub it onto the face, once you run it under warm running water for five to 10 seconds, squeeze gently and cleanse face, rub on face and it'll lather up. So, hey, okay, it's like a little face washing pad right in the pad. Um, let's go to our last two items, I think. Oh, one more. I haven't used this before. Urban Decay. It's a mini version of their, um, liquid lipstick in the front of the Vice collection. This is Big Bang. It's like a hot pink metallic. I've never used that before. I'm sure it's cute. I heard these are better, like, especially the metallic ones. I heard they're much better over top of lipstick. So if you have, like, a hot pink matte lip lipstick, put this over top and it'll be cute. And besides these, I have these little samples of... These are called Drag Off. I got these at DragCon. They're little samples of makeup remover created for drag queens. Or, I mean, if you wear as much makeup as I do or a drag queen does, it's a little stick. It's like an oil stick. You just push it up, take the oil off of it, and you rub it over mainly your eye makeup area and then everywhere else, and it gets off the makeup a lot better. I have two of those right here. Never been used. Although this is... Oh, it's opened up. Well, it's opened up. I'll just show you how it works. Uh, so says right here well oh it's already it's brand new but i'll show you i never used it it's in the product there you'll just push it up with your finger from the bottom and then you just apply it to your face and rub your makeup away i do have two of those it has a little info cards in there i promise you i've never used this it would just happen to be open i believe that covers everything in the I've decluttered. It feels so good to clean up after having so much in here. And I've gotten rid of so much. We're at 27 minutes. Let's stay under 30. But um, basically, remember, like the video, leave a comment makeup related, and be subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm going to share this on my Instagram. I'll share it on Facebook. But you have to make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can't win. I'm going to... How about I give this a week? Today is October 3rd. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. So, October 10th. How about this? October 10th. This is before I go to Atlanta for Pride. That's going to be fun. I will announce it on October 10th. I will announce who wins. So, just make sure, like I said, subscribe, like, and comment, makeup related. And that's all you need to do. So, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you want more info on the look, just let me know. Message me right on here. Leave a comment. And let me thank you so much for watching and have a good day. And always remember, stay fierce.